Hey everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial from Techtopia. Um, I already did a tutorial similar to this for Sony Vegas, um, but I'm gonna redo it, except it's gonna be on Photoshop this time. Basically, it's the effect where everything is black and white except the object of your choice. It is also known as the Sin City effect, the Pleasantville effect, and the Selective Coloring effect. So uh, if you want to do this in Sony Vegas, you can check out my channel and look at all my tutorials and hopefully you'll find it. But anyways, this is for Photoshop users. Let's get started. So I got a picture of this tree here. This tree was actually in another one of my Photoshop tutorials, so I guess this means that he is our default example or test. Okay, so here's our tree. What we're going to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And what this will do is it will make the tree entirely black and white. Now what we're going to do is have to create a copy of this image. So all we got to do is go to File, Save As. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it tree number two. And just save it. And uh, there you go. Okay, now what we're going to do is open up our original colored tree, which is over here. So now uh, what we should have is a black and white tree and a colored tree. Now we're just going to focus on our colored tree, so I could just minimize this for now. So here's our colored tree. I'm going to go to my quick selection tool because what we're going to do is extract Mr. Tree from this photo here. Now uh, you can use any method of selection you like. I like to use the quick selection tool because it works easy and it's very quick. So I'm on my quick selection tool. Make sure you're on your positive brush up here, not the negative or neutral brush, just on the positive one. And what we're going to do is simply select the tree. Click around all over the edges and stuff of the tree and the quick selection tool I don't know how, but it automatically knows what you're looking for. Okay. Get a bit of the trunk. You can uh, increase or decrease the size of your brush by using your bracket keys. And that's your bracket keys, not your parentheses keys. Your bracket keys are to the left of your slash key and to the right of your P key. Okay, so I just selected my tree. Now what I'm going to do is blur the edges so that when I transfer the tree from this photo to the other, it looks cleaner and not so messy. I'm going to go up here to Refine Edge, and then I can uh, add the settings or mess around with them if I want, but I'm going to usually keep them at default, so I'm just going to hit OK. And uh, as you can see in this little box here, the tree's edges are now blurry so that when we transfer this tree to the other picture of the tree, it will look a lot cleaner and just smoother. So I'm going to hit OK. Now what we can do is bring back our black and white tree here. I just got to do this a sec. So we got both trees. Now this tree is still selected. Now all we got to do is move this tree on top of this tree. So I'm going to go to my move tool over here. If you hit V on your keyboard, you can get right there. Now all you got to do is click and drag the colored tree on top of the black and white tree. Now uh, I'm done with this colored tree, so I can just exit out. Now we can uh, focus on this uh, canvas here. So now all you got to do is position the colored tree over top of your black and white tree. And it will give the illusion that it has always been like that. So uh, you can just move it around. Uh, if you want to be really precise, you can use your arrow keys to position it like really precisely and accurately. But uh, generally, I think that looks pretty good. We did a pretty good job. And as you see, the tree is the only thing colored. Everything else is black and white. Very easy to do, not very difficult at all. Anyone can do this, That even if you're a beginner Photoshop user. Anyways, hope you like this little tutorial. Comment on this video, rate it, subscribe, that'd be great. Anyways, thanks for watching, take care.